Vector and raster are both ways of composing and representing digital graphics on your screen. In this tutorial motion graphic, we are going to look at 1. The differences between them 2. The uses of vector and raster and 3. Examples of each in action. The awesome music is by Lion Rhythms. Check out his store below. Vector graphics are composed of objects formed from paths and fields, otherwise known as shapes, curves and strokes. Each one of these objects uses a specific mathematical formula to determine its size, its location and its shape. As such, they lose no quality when scaled up or when scaled down. Because of a vector graphics mathematical origins and dynamic nature, Vector graphics are preferred in the areas such as user interface design and application tools. An example of vectors at work can be seen in the type a letter and print a document. No matter what font size you choose, every letter and word remains crisp and legible. Raster graphics. Raster graphics on the other hand use pixels to compose an image. Pixels are most commonly squares that contain red, green and blue data. However, pixels can also be other shapes and hold different color channels. Because of a raster graphics ability to represent many complex images with many forms and colors and compress them into small file sizes, raster images are preferred for screen display and photography. For example, if you zoom into your desktop wallpaper, you will notice many different pixels that make up the image. 